Hello and welcome to the seventh annual HRB Trial Methodology Research Network Symposium. This year, we are delighted to partner with our friends and colleagues in the MRC NIHR Trials Methodology Research Partnership to present a program focusing on the future of clinical trials. The organizing committee composed of members from both TMRN and TMRP have carefully considered both recent developments and trends to present to you with a program that I hope will embody our partnership, stimulate discussion, and enable further collaborations as we consider the future of clinical trials, people, project, purpose, and place. Before we begin, some housekeeping points. You will see a live support button in the top right corner of the platform on your screens, should you need any technical support. Please submit questions for the panel members using the Q&A function available on the right hand side of the screen. If you find a particular question or comment relevant and helpful, please vote on it by clicking on the thumbs up. We would like to address as many questions as possible, and we will start with the most voted questions. Please take part in the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag trials methodology. And finally, recordings of all talks will be available after the symposium on the HRB TMRN website. As I welcome you, I'd like to start by recognizing the strong partnership between TMRN and TMRP, which has led to this joint symposium. Collaboration is the backbone of clinical research. Scientists with different skill sets come together to research how we plan, do, analyze, and report the results of trials. By combining ideas and supporting innovation, we improve the quality and efficiency of randomized trials. By coming together and sharing our knowledge, we improve all our research. But collaboration is not easy. It requires work. And as Henry Ford once said, coming together is the beginning. Staying together is progress and working together is success. I'm delighted to say that we have worked strongly together to present this symposium. I believe that there is no discipline where collaboration is more important than clinical trials. The breadth of expertise, the depth of knowledge, and the sheer volume of tasks to be complete for, for a trial to be successful demands that we work together. Indeed, interprofessional, interdisciplinary, interinstitutional and international collaboration is the energy which drives our work. Anyone who doubted the importance and impact of collaboration has only to reflect on the last two years and take immense pride in how scientists across the globe have come together to conduct trials of treatments and vaccines for COVID-19. It's a truly incredible achievement from collaborative science that brings us to a point where our societies can start to reopen. We must all ensure that we remind our policymakers of the importance of sustaining good science, an importance that is no longer an abstract concept, but is rather a concrete and tangible movement for the benefit of our patients. We are incredibly fortunate that our funders, particularly the Health Research Board, through its support for both TMRN and our wider clinical research ecosystem, recognize the importance of investment in trials. I would like to thank them for their continued commitment and support. Of course, the development of expert professionals in methodology has to start somewhere. And I would like to pay particular mention today of our PhD scholars who enrich our program, who influence the direction of our research and who represent a future that we can approach confidently. The inclusion of our PhD scholars and their participation in the workshop and other sessions brings a, a, a vibrancy to our program. Today, in fact, is an opportunity for us all to reflect, acknowledge and celebrate the research accomplishments of all our students, both those who are actively continuing their PhDs and those who have completed recently. Students undertake their projects, of course, for a wide range of reasons, to make a contribution to the field, to support their long-term career goals, to improve their knowledge and skills, and of course, to demonstrate their intellectual and investigative potential. And whilst the benefits of the skills developed as part of PhD studies are clear, the supporting mechanisms for our students requires our fullest attention. 
We must not lose our focus on the need to support each other, particularly our students as we progress. And through the workshops and symposium program, our students are showing us this. The symposium represents the output of uh, significant work by the organizing committee. The individual commitment of the TMRN, TMRP, and other investigators to partnership, which is so richly enlivened in our symposium program, bodes well for a sustained collaboration, which will impact our research, our institutions, and patients. Uh, of course, as many of you know, scientific committees for conferences are not always such a harmonious place, but I have enjoyed the great privilege of working alongside Paula, Sandra, Karen, Sarah and Declan over the last few months to develop the symposium program. Of course, our program is nothing uh, without the organization, and we are truly thankful to Sandra, Sheena, Lisa, Helen and Ethna for all of their help and guidance as the program took shape. Your efforts have created a symposium which will be enjoyed and valued by all. I would also like to thank Connor and Nicola from Conference Partners, whose expertise brings this virtual meeting to life. Of course, assembling ideas for a symposium and refining those into a coherent program is easy. Uh, building that out with a, a series of speakers who represent the best of our profession is much more difficult. But I think, and I'm sure you will agree, we've assembled a stellar panel of contributors who will share their diverse knowledge and experience and provide us all with opportunities for learning and engagement. Throughout all of the sessions of the symposium, the speakers are leaders, they're contributing to great change and they're abundant in their generosity by sharing their expertise with us throughout the week. To all our speakers, I say thank you. Your contribution to our symposium, to our field and to our understanding is immense and I and all the organizing committee are grateful for your contributions. Finally, to all our attendees, I thank you sincerely for being part of this symposium. It is regrettable that we cannot host you here in UCD in person, but we look forward to a future together, a future underpinned by the best science and trials where we can assemble in person to enjoy the next joint TMRN, TMRP symposium. I do hope you enjoy the event and I look forward to the discussion and engagement. Thank you.